HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hey guys, this is BTB and Mordecai from HookahPro.com and I'm going to be doing a tobacco review for you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a flavor I just bought in the local head shop yesterday and it is called Hookah Hookah Chai. Um, I've only seen a couple chai flavors. I know JM makes one and I like chai so I was interested in trying and this can be a two-part review. The first part is me showing what I opened up the case to whenever I opened it up to smell it and it is that. It's just one huge ball. Like, it's just one huge hookah sticky ball mess in there. Like, I didn't do that myself. It just acclimated all by itself. Like, look at that. I don't know if any of you have ever had that happen, but I shook the case whenever I first got it. I was like, why does it seem like there's not a lot in there? That's why. It's just one big ball, which is pretty interesting. All right, well, let me get my hookah set up, my bowl packed, and I'll be back with you guys very shortly. Hey, how's it going, hookah pros? With BTB and Mordecai from hookahpro.com. I've got a hookah review for you guys today. I mean, a back review for you. And um, this is a continuation of my first part of the video, and it's hookah hookah chai. Um, the cut was really, really freaking weird. Like, very weird. Like, not, you saw it from the beginning of the video. It was just all clumped together. Whenever I was taking it out to put it in the bowl, it did not even feel like tobacco. It was just a sticky, gushy, freaking floppy mess. That's what she said. No. Oh, well. Anyway. Like, it was, it's just really odd. Like, there's some tobacco fibers, like, you see in a regular bowl, but just weird. The smell does not smell like chai at all, I think. It's just kind of, it smells like a natural, tea, I can smell tea leaves, like natural tea leaves and some spiciness, but I don't smell any chai at all in it. <coughs> like, it's just goofy. It's just weird. I don't Smoking on my normal setup, medium cafe, uh, caravan funnel, three rosin coals, got my little snake hose, and I'll show you how it smokes. Coals have been out about five minutes, so I'll just rotate it real quick for you. So far the taste I'm getting is really, really awkward. Like I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It tastes like it smells, which is trust me, not a good thing. Um just leaving an awful taste in my mouth. Like this is terrible. I don't know what it is, but it's just I'm definitely tasting a tea flavor, and I'm tasting some sort of spice, but it's really fucking weird. I don't really know what to think of this tobacco. I'm stumped. I don't know. Uh, one, one more. Nope, still awful. I'm, 
I'm gonna have to say Huka Huka Chai gets a one out of ten. It's just not good at all. I mean, I may have gotten a bad batch, maybe because all the stuff was stuck together into a huge ass ball. But something about this ain't right. Like it just tastes awful. It doesn't smell appealing to me. It's not like chai at all. Like. I don't think it's very good at all. I kind of regret buying this. This kind of smells and tastes like plastic. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Not good at all. So, Huka Huka Chai gets <coughs> 1 out of 10. The one being, I can blow smoke rings with it, and it gets okay smoke. That's really about it. Anyway, um, check out Hoover Pro for all your latest reviews and tips, tricks, and more. You can learn everything you want to know on Hoover Pro. Sign up today; it's free and it's easy. Um, <coughs> just want to thank everyone who puts up reviews, so I have stuff to watch and critique my videos with and <clears throat> see what other people think about it. And that's all I got. That is the BTB and Morning Cock,